Well, I screwed up. See, I wanted to try something a little bit different. I wanted to change up the settings or the setup on my camera. And, <laughs> well, it didn't work out all that great. The footage came out super shaky, but don't take my word for it. Here's a little bit of that right now. It's pretty bad. I tried to clean some of it up in post, but it's not super awesome. However, that is not the topic for today's discussion. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. See, so yeah, I messed up. I tried something new and it didn't work out. But you see the behind the scenes stuff isn't the point of this video today. As I was working through that edit and trying to decide a few things, I had a couple thoughts. One of which was I made a commitment to shoot and post a video for minimum of 30 days. I made that commitment to you, I made it to myself, and I'm gonna hold myself to that commitment. I thought about reshooting the videos, but I really wanted this to be candid, wanted it to be real, you know, didn't want it to be too edited, if you will, minimal editing. Because there's a lot that you can change or you can hide or you can fix in you know, post-production and editing, but I really wanted this to be real, re be candid. So I'm not gonna reshoot them, I'm going to use them. And that led me into my next thought is, if you're gonna try new things and you're gonna work on getting better at whatever you're doing, you shouldn't let the fear of looking silly keep you from trying something new. You have to be okay in the beginning with looking like a fool or making those mistakes because mistakes are gonna happen. Failures are gonna happen along the way, but you've gotta be okay and understand that you may look silly doing it. That something may not work out exactly the way that you wanted it to, but that's okay because you're out there trying. You're trying to be better. You're trying to progress. Because you see, everybody started somewhere. All the experts in their fields, the pro athletes, the CEOs, the successful people in this world didn't get there by just waking up and being good at what they're doing. They tried new things. They got out of their comfort zone and they failed. They made mistakes. But you see, they didn't let the mistake define them. They use it as a learning opportunity because the mistake doesn't define you. It's what you do after that does. So what can you learn from that experience, from that mistake, from that failure? Me, I learned that those settings on the camera and that setup doesn't work. So here I'm going back to what was working before as I try and figure out what can, what can be, what I can do to make them better in the future. So we're trying new things. We're learning. We're trying to figure out what's, what's going to work and what isn't going to work. Cause as you can see, I've got my fancy camera here and we're going to give it a shot and see if we can figure out how to make that work too. And I'm going to try new things. I'm going to try stuff and some of it may work. Some of it may not, but that's okay. That's another thing that, that it got me thinking about too. When you think about all this, you know, the successful people and them making mistakes and whatever, a lot of times we compare ourselves to those people and then we get, we get nervous or self-conscious about not being at their level. But that's one thing that those people that we get inspiration from have, a, have ahead of us or have above us is time. It's just time. It's the reps. There's a chapter in Jordan Peterson's book, The 12 Rules to Life. I think that's the name of it. But the chapter is compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Don't compare yourself to who somebody else is today. Because that's what they've got. They've got the time. They've got the reps. You'll get there. Just keep moving forward. Don't stop now. Your success might be that next step forward. Might be just over the next horizon. So don't let the fear of failure hold you back. Don't let the fear of looking like a fool or making a mistake hold you back. Trust in the process. Trust in that you are working hard to improve yourself, to get better. It may take you five tries. It may take you 10. It may take you a hundred. But just trust in the process and keep moving forward. 
keep trying to get better. Learn from your mistakes. Because remember, you're not going to be good at everything when you start. It's going to take time. It's going to take practice. It's going to take mistakes. So whatever it is that you are afraid to do today, because you're afraid of looking like a fool, you're afraid of making a mistake, that's okay. That's, those are valid feelings. But do it anyway. Give it a shot. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least you know it didn't work, and then you can learn from that, and you can make it better the next time. I challenge you to continue. Don't give up. I appreciate you being here, listening to me ramble, listening to me think, getting inside of my head. As always, make the day yours, make the day great. We'll catch you next time. See ya!